Hey, this is a quick effect using Masuda's wow sleeve. Obviously, deck of cards. Uh, I just wanted to take the traditional making a card appear in there, just up to another level. And traditionally, it's done with by finding they select a card and it gets put in there and it changes into it. You can do it with a signature. And I just wanted to, to like I said, take it up another level and have two signatures or two sign cards appear in here uh, and I managed to come up with it and I've been doing it for about two to three years now so let me just show you what that looks like I'll come back to that in a second take out the cards and just give them a quick shuffle look at that two jokers I couldn't do that again if I tried so for this it's going to be two spectators uh, spectator 1 spectator 2 so for argument's sake and for name's sake we're going to call this spectator number 1 Jack and this spectator here number 2 we're going to call her Jill so you've got one girl and one boy that's right so spectator number 1 would be Jack just freely selects any card he likes doesn't really matter once he's not any of the top 10 the bottom 15 and the middle 13 then you know no I'm kidding it could be any card you like uh, and then this instance obviously because he has to sign it you never see it but there you go seven of diamonds he signs his name big black mark like that Jay. A C K. can you see that hopefully you can the mark is big enough okay well he's finished doing that you just get him to blow it because obviously it's a thick marker and you want it to dry and you hand the pen to spectator number two which would be Jill uh, obviously you're holding the cards all the time. So you give the cards a couple of cuts and when you're good and ready say to Jack, place your card about halfway in the deck about there. Okay. He places the rest of the cards on top and you give the cards a couple of cuts and a couple of riffles. It wasn't very evenly put in half but there you go and again. That's better. Okay. Spectator number two, whose name is Jill, is holding the pen and you say to her, you're going to try and find Jack's signed card. Uh, I'll know what it is if I do hit it because there's a big dirty signature on it. Uh, and you just turn over and say, right, is this his card? You turn to Jack, he says no. Obviously you know it's not because there's no signature on it. So you turn to Jill and say, take off the, the pen. Take off the cap of the pen, I want you to sign this card. Now she's doing that, you say, I want you to sign the back of it. So she's took the cap off the pen, you're holding the card all the time as well. Just She takes the cap off and you write the name, her name on this one, J-I-L-L. -L. Put a little love heart there too, just so we know it's the girl. You can colour it too. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, pop. Jill. I almost wrote Jack actually. But there you go, that says Jill. So before you bring the uh, Masuda sleeve into into play, you just verify that uh, he selected a card and signed the front of it, and that you've turned one over, which was the six of hearts, which we know, and she signed the back of it. So what you're burning in their mind is that he signed the front of one card and she signed the back of one card, and they both agree and they both say yeah. So place the key, take off the sleeve, take off the top card which is Jill's card and, and place it into the sleeve. Now remember that you've already uh, shown this, shown it back and front and how thin it is and what it doesn't do. Blah, blah, blah. You just push this in here nice and snugly and you just say right this is your signature Jill and you just show her the back of her card you can see it. You say yeah, you say this is the back of your card, you've signed it and you've signed the six of hearts, okay. So she goes yeah, see there's your card. See now, wouldn't it be amazing if I could make your card disappear straight out of here? Make it disappear visibly. Visibly? That's the word, visibly. Right in your face. And they're all going to go, yeah. You just ever so slowly take the card and just give it a gentle roll. One, two, three, just like that. And it visibly changes into Jack's card. Just the seven of diamonds. She freaks out because her card just disappeared right in front of her eyes and there's no possible way of doing it. You just remove Jack's card and turn around and say, well, if your card has jumped from the deck to here, 
what are the chances of her kind of jumping from the sleeve back into the deck? Uh, that's what they're expecting. You say normally what you do is when you finish effects like these, you let the spectators keep their cards like so. You say, but the only problem you have with this trick is who do you give this card? And generally what I do right here is put it in half like so. Depending on how they've signed in, if they've done a good job of it, they can actually both have half each. She's got her half, he's got his half. Oh, and it's something that they'll always have and remember and keep. So that's it. Hope you liked it. Uh, please comment, please rate. Uh, any comments would be much appreciated. And if you've got any ideas yourself, then feel free to, to use this. Uh, if not, uh, just sit down, try and think of other ways and applications of using this. It's a wonderful piece of kit. Uh, possibilities are endless, really. You're only limited to what you want to put into it. So, so yeah. Cheers for watching. Bye. Yeah, I'll do that, though.